Lesson 4.3b, Identifying Proportional Relationships. To determine a relationship is proportional, we can use a table or graph. Here's the table method. We've got a distance of 50 miles in the time of one hour, 100 miles in two hours, 150 miles in three, and 200 miles in four. And using the expression y is equal to kx, or k is equal to y over x, y divided by x, we have 50 over 1 as 50 divided by 1, which is equal to 50. When we do 100 divided by 2, we get 50. When we do 150 divided by 3, we get 50. And 200 divided by 4 is equal to 50. The constant of proportionality is 50. And we see 50 over 1. This is our unit rate, isn't it? The constant of proportionality is 50. So let's take a look at the graph method. We have our table. We can see in one hour that's worked, there's $15 that's earned. And in two hours, it's $30. Three hours, it's $45. Four hours, it's $60. Using the data in the table, we write and plot ordered pairs. And we have one hour is $15. That would be between 10 and 20, wouldn't it? It would be right there. And two hours is 30. Three hours is 45. That's in between 40 and 50. And four hours is $60 earned. We connect the plotted points as a line. And if we have a straight line going through the origin, it's a proportional relationship. You work zero hours, you're going to make zero dollars. We can use the data from the table. And y is equal to k times x. We would have 15 is equal to 15 times 1. If zero hours are worked, zero dollars are earned. That's using common sense. And graphed, our line would go through the origin, zero, zero. The table shows the relationship between the number of beads needed and the amount of bracelets that can be made. Is the relationship proportional? We write ordered pairs, bracelets for x, beads for y. So even on the graph, we have our bracelets for x, that's the horizontal, and the number of beads we need would be y, that's the vertical. We have 1 for x, 20 for y, 2 for x, 40 for y. We have a 3 for x, 60 for y, and a 4 for x, 80 for y. We graph the ordered pairs, and the graph is a line that goes through the origin, 0, 0. If 0 bracelets are made, 0 be beats are needed. The relationship is proportional. The point 1 for x and 20 for y on the graph shows the constant of proportionality. That's the unit rate. It's the rate for 1, the unit rate. It's 20 beads per bracelet. Each bracelet has 20 beads. We look for two things, a straight line plotted through the points and the second thing is the line goes through the origin, 0, 0, in proportional relationships. On the graph of a proportional relationship, the point with an x-coordinate of 1 gives the constant of proportionality as the y-coordinate. A proportional relationship can be expressed as y is equal to kx. y is equal to the constant of proportionality multiplied by the x value. k is the constant of proportionality. When x is equal to 1, y is equal to k times 1. So in this case, we have 1 for x, 50 for y. So x is equal to 1, 50 is equal to 50 times 1. 50 is the constant of proportionality. When x is equal to 1, y gives the constant of proportionality. When x is equal to 1, in an ordered pair, whatever the y value is, is the constant of proportionality. It's k. But be careful. A constant rate does not mean the relationship is definitely proportional. This graph shows a constant rate of change. It's going up by 1, by 1, by 1, by 1. 
but the line doesn't go through the origin. It doesn't go through zero, zero. So here's our example. Maybe Tala paid $3 to enter a carnival and then paid a dollar for each ride she went on. So there was an initial amount of money she had to spend of $3. Then she spent a dollar and it went up constantly by $1. That is not a proportional relationship. It didn't go through the origin zero, zero. Proportional relationships. There's two things. There's a straight line through the points and the line goes through the origin. We're finished with 4.3b. We're going to move on to 4.3c, analyzing graphs, proportional relationships. Remember, if you find my videos or my lessons helpful, to share them with your friends and hit that like button because it does help my channel. Have a really great day and join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.